Well, this is an interesting one. Uh, so, I recently moved to Cornwall in the south of England and started fishing the rivers there. And it was a real learning curve. They're mostly extremely narrow and overgrown. And I turned up at these rivers and started casting and I was getting caught in bushes and everywhere. And then I saw a local fishing and he used pretty much all the time what's called a bow and arrow cast. And this is what it is. So here we are, let's say there's a fish over there, I'm fishing a nymph. And I want to get the fly out there, just not, not a big cast, but I can't do the cast under here. I certainly can't make an overhead cast. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a bow and arrow like this. I'm holding the fly at the bend of the hook. I'm creating that straight line there and I'm just gonna let go, bang. And it gets the fly out. Now it may seem a bit strange, but on these overgrown rivers, there's so much cover that you don't need a long cast. And I've caught fish using that cast, which I would never have been able to approach before. So the bow and arrow cast. Now, one tip I'll give you is that if you use a long rod, the longer the rod, the more reach you can get over the current and the longer, see this bit? The, the, the bat fly line and hook can be because you've got more leverage and you get further distance. Right, what about if I need a little bit more distance? What about if I want to get my nymph into that run there? Very difficult to make any sort of cast here, so bow and arrow is going to work again, but it's a little bit further out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the leader about halfway up. So I've got three foot of leader hanging below and the heavy nymph there. So instead of holding the fly, I'm holding the leader further up and that's giving me more line to flick out. I'm getting good load on that tip there and I'm just gonna let that leader go. And it's got me enough distance to fish that nymph in that run. A good little tip, if you wanted to get that nymph sinking really quickly in that broken water, but you wanna use a bow and arrow cast, is hold the fly a little bit closer to the rod tip and get that tip really overloaded like that. I've got a real strong pull on that. Aim a little bit higher and what's gonna happen is that fly's gonna tuck under and hit the water first quite fast. See that? And that punches it into that current. And again, you can really get down deep really quick. I'll show you that again. Aim a little bit higher and it tuck casts that nymph down and it might get you a fish. The bow and arrow cast with the tuck cast, great.